you know, those mm, who have made it their abiding duty to relegate Nkrumah to the background and so on, I have no difficulty with them. But please, they should save us the embarrassment and indignity of hoisting criminals as our national heroes. That's my worry. You know, the current president, his father, and two other judges, Justice Van Leer and Justice Akukosa, tried Obeche Bilamte. They tried him. They presided over the case. They tried Obeche Bilamte. And they, in their judgment, described Obeche Bilamte as a terrorist. They sentenced Obeche Bilamte. They put Obeche Bilamte in prison. Akufuado's father was one of three judges who sentenced Obeche Bilamte as a terrorist and committed him to prison. So today, if we are being told that we should salute Obeche Bilamte as a founder of this republic, is that not an insult? And is it me who is saying it? Akufuado's father, his judgment is available. Indeed, his judgment is published in a booklet titled Terrorism and the Nkrumah. That booklet is on sale as we speak at the Freedom Bookshop near Apollo Theater. Anybody who wants a copy of that judgment can go there now and buy a copy of that judgment. The judgment who said, huh? That Obeche Bilante is a terrorist. And today, our President, His Excellency Akufuado, and the New Patriotic Party are telling us that we should adopt a terrorist as a founder of our republic. I feel so insulted, unbelievable insult. Now, some people don't know what happened in our country. The pain is still there. There are people who still feel the pain of this treacherous terrorist of what he did to our country. Right now, if you go to Dansuma in Accra, hmm, there's a place in Dansuma in Accra called Exhibition. Go there now. There's a woman there called Asantiwa. Asantiwa was a schoolgirl who went to the Accra Sports Stadium for an event. As a result of the explosion of dynamite supplied by Ubeche Bilante and others, she lost her leg. Asantua is alive as we speak now. Go there now. Asantua has been crying since the 1960s. Every time I go to visit Asantua, she's in tears. She's crying. Her life was destroyed by these desperate terrorists. And today, we are told that these desperate terrorists are the founders of Ghana. What an insult. You know something? Today, he was also in prison. Oh, oh, Saka. Let him. Ah. Let okay, you let him. He was, not, he was never tried. Let him continue. Mr. Pratt, let him make that mistake. Well. But what was the reason for his prison? Saka, yes. let him, let him continue, Mr. Pratt. Masa, <laughs> today, we are told, uh, under President Akufuado, we are told that some people are organizing a secessionist movement in the Western region, mm -hmm. in the Volta region. And that is a big national problem. You've heard about the Western Togoland thing and so on, and statements issued by the same government. Then the same government uh, describes Anto, who was the secessionist leader, as a national hero. 
and one who fought for the independence of Ghana. Does it make sense? Anto, SG Anto, leader of the secessionist movement in, in, in Togo, in, 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 in the Volta region, has now become a national hero. In any case, are you surprised? My brother, after the 1966 coup, in 1969, when Dr. K. A. Buzer became Prime Minister of Ghana, he appointed S.G. Ato as Ghana's ambassador to Togo. He rewarded the secessionist movement. He was appointed as Ghana's ambassador to Togo. I feel ashamed. I feel embarrassed by this. My brother, listen to me very carefully. You know, I don't know who has been feeding Saka with the kinds of things he's been spewing here. All of Nkrumah's broadcasts from Guinea Conakry are published today in a book called Dark Days in Ghana. The book is available at Freedom Bookshop. That whole book is available. It's edited by June Mill. Nowhere in Nkrumah's broadcast did he say the things that Saka is attributing to him. And anybody can go and buy the broadcast and read today. In any case, Saka says that in the broadcast from Conakry, Guinea, Nkrumah was asked and he said this. I can't blame him. I listened to those broadcasts myself. My parents used to listen to those broadcasts. We used to listen to those broadcasts. They were broadcasts. They were not interviews. In those broadcasts, Nkrumah was never asked any question. So where is Saga getting this information from? Very simple. He's just sitting here, cooking up information and throwing it at us. Yes, and he thinks that we are like him. We are as ignorant as he is. We are not. Nowhere in Nkrumah's broadcast did this issue even come up. You will get you the information. Yeah, get me better information, not the one you just released. The one you just released I'm is with focus.